So today I wanted to talk about allocation and uh, <laughs> what allocation means and how you can use it to your advantage. So uh, when you're allocating inventory, typically you're talking about uh, when you receive a batch of inventory and you need to allocate that inventory to any open orders that might exist. So typically if you're handling special orders and you've got a whole lot of special orders in the system and you receive a shipment uh, from a vendor and now you need to fulfill those orders, typically you want to fulfill uh, those items uh, from the oldest to the newest or you might want to use uh, some other rules. Now, in the receiving screen, when we receive, let me show you, when we receive an actual shipment, let's say I'm receiving this Taurus Curve, um, it will actually show me all the open orders that have that particular item, uh, which is really helpful. And I can just click on this link and go to that order. And at that point, I can notify the customer, uh, which works really well. But sometimes if you're dealing with a large volume of orders, uh, that becomes a little difficult. So we've added the ability to, uh, once you receive the items, so now that I've received that shipment of items, uh, I can actually go in and search for a particular item. Oops, wrong field. So I'll search for this curve and I'll select it. And at this point you see all of the open orders for this item. But uh, what we can actually do is I can first of all, narrow down the search and say, hey, only show me customers that have a certain price tier. So only show me my uh, veteran customers that might have ordered that item. And that way I can uh, basically service them first if that's something you want to do. Uh, but I can also leave that at all. And then I can actually say, hey, only show me orders that I haven't already allocated inventory to, meaning any open orders uh, that still need to be assigned you know, those specific items. So if I check that box and hit search, this in this case, it shows me, hey, you have three open orders here that uh, we are, are truly open, waiting for inventory, and now I have to allocate that inventory to uh, those orders. So at this point, all you need to do is you can click on allocate, and the allocate button will show me that I actually have five that I received, so I have five on hand, and none of those so far are allocated, and the quantity available to allocate is actually five. So at this point, I can say, hey, I wanna allocate all of them, or I want to allocate some of them. So I can say, you know what, I wanna keep two out on the floor, but I'll go ahead and allocate three of them to actual orders. So at this point, what you can do is, is the system will allocate based on uh, the sortation order that you're looking at. So in this case, I'm sorted from the oldest order to the newest, and typically that's how you would want to service your customers. Uh, but again, maybe you want to fill the latest order first, so in that case I can just click on the column title uh, to actually change the sort order. So that would just sort from newest to oldest or oldest to newest. So let's go back and uh, click that allocate button again. And at this point, what I can do is I can say, hey, let's go ahead and allocate three, but this is a hard to get item. So anyone who ordered more than one, uh, for now, we're only going to allocate one per order. So I'm going to check that box and I'm going to hit okay. And at this point, it actually allocated those items, but what's really nice is it will actually uh, automatically check any of the orders that got fulfilled. And in this case, I have three orders that were fulfilled because I was allocating three and I said one per order. And if I look, you'll see that I actually show that I allocated one to this order. So you'll see there's a column called allocated now. And I allocated one to this order and I allocated one to this order. So it's really nice because at this point, if I collapse all of these, I didn't really have to do that, but if I, they're already selected. So what I can do at this point is I can change the status and I can say, hey, uh, change the status to allocated. And the nice thing is that when I change a status, that status can trigger a notification. Um, so we can actually tell the customer, hey, we have your item, one of your items, 
uh, is now available and uh, you can come to the store to pick it up so you don't have to call each one of them. So that works really well. Uh, but I can also print labels because maybe I want to print the label with the order number and the customer name and just stick it right on the box. So what I can do at that point is I can print a label and again we can customize any of these labels for you um, so that there is a label specifically for uh, showing the customer maybe their phone number and maybe their name and then the order number. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or a whole lot of information. So it just makes it really easy to manage your open orders and of course once you finish with this and you're done allocating and the customer is notified when they come into the store you simply unsuspend the transaction and complete that or if you are shipping it to them uh, you can obviously go into this screen and finalize your shipment if you're connected to easy post you can print your shipping labels and we probably should make a whole separate video on that so i'll make a note of that i know it's been a while uh, so there's some updates uh, on that and as well, we, we've had some videos on it. But basically what I wanted to focus on today is just the idea of allocation. Now just to show you the other scenario, I backed out my allocation and I just wanted to show you what happens uh, if I don't choose one per order. So let's see, I've got this customer, uh, they have two on order and this customer as one on order. So what we can do is now, instead of allocating one per order, I'm just going to uh, choose not to do that. And I'm still going to allocate three and I'm just going to uncheck that box and I'm going to hit okay. And you'll notice before I do that, let's just make sure that my allocation is set to zero, which it is. Okay, because I just reset that behind the scenes. It's like a cooking show. There's some magic that can happen. All right, so I won't select that. And uh, let's go ahead and allocate. So I'm going to allocate three. So in this case, it should allocate one to the first order because they ordered one and two okay. to the next order or vice versa. It's the weekend. I may have mixed the order of those, but we'll see what happens. So let me go ahead and click OK. And at this point, if I expand it, I've allocated. So this did have two. So I've allocated two to this order and I've allocated one to this order. And again, I can just go change status, notify the customer, and uh, I'm ready to go. Now, in terms of these statuses, I'll just show you where you can update those statuses. I don't know why I checked each one of these. So, um, but to manage your statuses, you just go to the dot, dot, dot menu and click manage sales statuses. And again, I would uh, create a new status you know, maybe called inventory or in stock inventory. Uh, item in stock, and I can put a description. And at this point, we can notify customer via email, via SMS, and basically hit save. So that would actually be a new status that I set up to let a customer know that the item is in stock. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and just let us know if you have any questions. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we keep making videos and this way you can be notified when we publish a new video. And until next time, have a great day.